Buenos dias. We just left the small town of Pedernales. Yes, there's a Pedernales here in Ecuador too. And uh, there's also a Santo, Santo Domingo. Anyways, we rented a moto for the next two weeks and uh, we are on our way to another small town called Canoa, which is on the coast here as well. So we've got two hours to drive along the coast and then uh, we're gonna see what we can find along the way. But first, I need to eat some breakfast. So, let's go. All right, we pulled over on the side of the road here and I'm gonna eat some breakfast real quick. So let me just put the camera down here so that we can do this. Are you a milk first kind of guy? Or a cereal first kind of guy? Or, or girl? I'm a cereal first type of guy, so... Oh, the milk's rotten! <laughs> Alright, we made it to a small town called Kama, I think it's pronounced. Um, so I've been like an hour on the road and I am pretty hungry now. So let's uh, drive into here and see where we can go and get some proper food because those uh, food loops just, with the rotten mold just didn't hit the spot. Um, let's drive in here. This looks like a one-way spot. Found a a place to have a, a proper a proper breakfast. Let's see if they're open. What the hell is this music? Hola, cómo está? Ustedes son es abierto? Abierto? Cómo? Okay, uh, desayuno? This town still seems like they're living in the 1800s. It's like a town out of, out of a western movie or something. Hola! Hello, people of Kama. You're not seeing the most friendly. Wow, getting funny looks around here. Yeah? I guess the last time they saw a whitey was uh, when the Spanish left. Okay, there's going to be no breakfast around here, we're going to do a U-turn. Hola, perdón, permiso. Hola, buenos días. Uh, ¿Tostadas y estas cosas puedo comer aquí? Tostadas. Tostadas y tengo de queso. ¿Sí? Sí. Okay. ¿Cuál tostada hay? Solo tengo de queso. Solo de queso. Y bueno. Ok, gracias. Jesus Christ, the people around here do not seem that inviting. Alright, this is by far the most unfriendliest town that I have ever been to. Um, no one cares about service or um, hospitality, so we are going to get something from a, a kiosk, like some cookies and a coke, and we're going to get the hell out of here. It's not this place. 
if we can even find that. Kanoa. Let's see if we can get some food around here uh, because I'm pretty hungry now. The weather looks shit. Looks like it's about to rain. This looks like some type of surfing town or something. I don't know. An abandoned surfing town. Let's, let's go down here. All the touts trying to bring you into the restaurants. Kanoa. We made it. Oh man, I am stiff. What's up? Todo bien? Hola amigo, buenos días. Buenos días. Desayuno. Desayuno? Sí. A ver, a ver. Esquina. Aquí? Sí, muy bueno. Venga. ¿Cuál desayuno? Claro, esto. Bolón, bolón. Sí, bolón. ¿Qué es un bolón? Eh, con verde molido, eh, queso o puede ser con chicharrón, chancho. Ok. O tortilla de camarón. Bueno, bueno. Acá okay. también muy bueno. Ok, ok. Eh, arroz, harinero. No, yo quiero, yo quiero decir no. Ya, bueno, sí. Bolón, cold bolón, ¿sabes? Con queso, con... Eh, ¿Chicharrón o queso? Queso. Hay solo con queso. Sí. Ah, hay bolón con huevo. Sí, con todo. Con queso. café y huevo. Bueno, eso queso. quiero, eso ya. quiero. Ya. Bueno, ok. La Marta, bolón de queso. Con café y huevo también. Café y huevo también. Sí. Bueno, ok. Ahí tenemos cervezas, colas, jugos, batidos. Más tarde. Ya. Muy bueno. ¿Ayuda? Ya. Ahí. Ahí. De acá, aquí. Así. Ok, yo tengo. Ya. Ya. Cool. All right, guys. Breakfast has been served. So this is a bolón. It is a typical thing here in Ecuador. Um, I've seen it pretty much everywhere along the way. I've never tried it though, so we're gonna give it a go for the first time. And I've got my coffee. Um, yeah, they like instant coffee here in Ecuador. Nevertheless, let's give this bolón a go. Um, I have no idea what it is, so let's uh, let's take a look. It's nice and warm. Okay, it seems like a type of potato or something. Oh look, I think that's plantain. That's plantain. So it's fried. Mm -hmm. Tastes like patacones, if you don't know what patacones are, it's fried plantain. And that's, uh, I think that's exactly what it is. It's got some cheese in the inside. It kind of has a a very neutral flavor. It's not salty. It's not sweet. Mm. Tastes like tostones or patacones. Let's give the cheese a go. And you get different, different versions. Ones with fish and meat. So. Okay, the cheese adds a little bit of saltiness. Very strange way of serving coffee. Well, it's all over the table. Here's sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar, but okay. Sugar gives me energy. We're gonna drink the coffee, eat our ballon. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do afterwards. If we're gonna carry on south to the town of Manta, to the city of Manta actually, um, because it's pretty early, it's not even 12 o'clock, um, but the weather seems so shit. It's windy and kind of cold as well. So I don't know if we, uh, what we're gonna do. So we're gonna enjoy this and we'll see afterwards, just like with everything. Salud. Get some water. Hola, ¿cómo está, señor? 
Cum stai? Andrei? Cum stai? Super! Ce ai para beber? Ugo de coco și agua de coco. Ugo de coco și agua de coco. Sí. Bueno, una agua de coco. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Cuánto quiere? Bueno, okay. All right. There's some coconut water. There's people taking a photo there. San Vincent San Vicente. It's like coconut water. That's what it is, nice and cold and refreshing. Electrolyte. Alright, we have made it to the town of San Clemente. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go to the beach. Oh, okay. Woo. Wow. Is this uh Is this the nicest beach in Ecuador? Hola. Hola. Está? Wow. Okay. I think we have found the best beach in Ecuador. Let's go take a dip. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get away from these seagulls because they kind of creeping me out um, let's go there for the last hammocks yeah so this is uh, this is definitely the nicest beach that I've seen here in Ecuador I mean it's no it's no uh, Bahia de las Aguilas but uh, We can dip in it, nevertheless. All right. Let's leave our stuff here. Ah. Wow. Is this hammock safe? It doesn't look that safe. Okay, it's uh, it's usable. Are you ready for a Kurt Dips? Wow, the sand is hot. <sighs> oh, I uh, I got a little bit sunburnt in uh, Esmeraldas, and my back is peeling. Yeah, the skin. Woo. The water is, yeah, it's actually. It's actually all right. It's not as cold as I expected, but it's not warm either. Um, I'm really bad at guessing water temperature, but I would say around 16, 17, 15 to 20, something like that. I don't know. At least the sun is nice and warm. Ah. Okay, major shrinkage. All right, the water is uh, rough as hell. I don't want to get the camera wet, but we're going to do a quick one. Now I've still got like an hour to go. I don't want to be driving in the dark. And uh, well, I'll make it before night time, but you never know what I see along the way and stop off. Again, I don't want to go too deep here because uh, I got the camera. But we're going to do a quick dip just to freshen up. Okay. Is this the coolest beach in the whole of Ecuador? I think so. I think we found it. Not too many people. Beautiful. It's wild. I like. Let's go. Good dips. Okay. All right, we made it to a hotel here in Manta. Um, I had a shower and a little rest. Um, it cost $25 a night, 
and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a standard, standard hotel. Um, you've got the bathroom here, shower with this, with this suicide shower, um, like the one in Cusco. It's all electric. They call it a Brazilian shower head. So this is electric, and apparently people get shocked with these things all the time. So yeah, it's fun showering with these shower heads. You never know. Anyways, um, damn, I am tired. We were on the road for like four, I would say about five hours. Um, I'm gonna sleep the night here. I'm gonna go get something to eat. And then uh, we're gonna carry on tomorrow morning. Off to Salinas, which is one of the most touristic places here in uh, Ecuador. So, see you in the morning. Good morning. We just left the stinkiest city that I have ever been to in my life, Manta. And uh, we are now going to a little town called Porto Lopez. Anyways, we're going direction Salinas. I think we're going to be in Salinas by the end of the day, in the late afternoon. Um, that's the goal. Well, this is a very interesting looking town here. Um, okay, I didn't expect this. Anyways, the Voodoo High Priest, Mr. Kurt Lala, is uh, hungry because uh, he hasn't had any breakfast or um, his morning coffee. So we are going to look for that now, where we can regroup and plan our little journey. Just park the bike here and do a little, do a little uh, scope of this place. Scope this place out. Ah, it smells like fish. All the fishermen here. Wow, this, uh, this is an interesting little town. Let's see what we can find here. Hola. Como está? Puedo hacer desayuno aquí? Desayuno? Desayuno? Sí. Yo solo vendo desayuno, pescado, patacón y ensalada. Ah, huevos y eso no. Huevo? No. Carne? No, no quiero. Okay, okay. Huevos no más. Sí, como huevos y, y... No tortilla de huevo. No. O huevos fritos. Huevos fritos o huevos revueltos. Revuelto. ¿Hay café también? Sí. ¿Sí? Sí. sí. Huevos revueltos con, con pan y café. Pan, pan no. Monteo. ¿No? No, okay. plátano. Ah, Pero bueno. Es que no, huevos, no pan. huevos revueltos con plátano. Sí. Y, y café. ¿Hay ¿Y leche? No, no tengo leche. ¿No tiene leche? Bueno, está bien, sin leche. Ya, ¿y el revuelto le pongo cebollita, tomate o no? Solo huevos. Solo huevos. Sí, por favor. Ya, pues. Bueno. Gracias. Wow, this is a. ¿Cómo se llama este pueblito? ¿Cómo se llama aquí? ¿No sabes? La piña. ¿Cómo? La piña. La piña. Ajá, la piña. Pero ¿dónde son las piñas? A la montaña. ¿Sí? Ajá. Yo tengo ganas de comer uh, piñas. Entonces, si yo voy allá, yo puedo comer piñas. Ahorita no. <laughs> te llevan presos y te ven metiéndote en una pinta a comer algo. ¿Sí? Sí, las piñas las compramos, los carros de verdura que venden. Pero verdad, eso es un pueblo de, de, de piñas. Pero no tengo piña. Ah. No. Ah, ok. Aquí casi no vendemos la fruta sin desayuno. Mejor dicho, no vendemos desayuno. Ah, bueno. Ya, ya te yo ya lo preparo. Ok, gracias. Alright, guys. Check out this view where I'm about to have my breakfast here. Yeah? Wow. This is uh, impresionante, as they would say in Spanish. Impressive. That's where they launch their boats into the water from. I guess when the tide is higher. Look at this coastline. Um, it's definitely changing into something more cold and rough uh, than up north. 
up north the water is more calm and it's warmer it's more tropical vibes this is starting to feel like uh, Peru now must be some crazy big fish out there anyways look at these seagulls they're huge jeez it's like a one meter no not one meter wingspan but I would say about almost a one meter wingspan on those seagulls wow damn imagine you're a fisherman and you have to go out in these rough waters every morning four o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning before sunlight you head off boom into the cold freezing ocean breakfast has been served the patacones or tostones however you want to call it fried plantain with the scrambled eggs our hot water and instant coffee as usual um, with no milk that's going to be a challenge anyways is this not the best one of the best views where you can eat breakfast let me just put the camera down a second while I prepare this coffee wow it's windy that's the only problem it's a little bit chilly too I'm gonna put on a hoodie now I got all my clothing in the little compartment there that you open up the scooter all right let's eat our breakfast and then we're gonna carry on on the road hit the road jack never come back no more no more no more no more hit the road jack never come back no more just give the eggs a go no salt okay pick these guys out they just came in with their with their boats here i wonder if they got any fish Okay, got those little fish there. It seems like it. Get all. All right, they didn't uh, bring in too much. It seemed like just that little collection of fish. Let's see. See what they got for sale here. Some t-shirts, hoodies. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo se llama este pueblo? Piña. Este pueblo se llama La Piña. La Piña. Las ah, Piña. Las Piña. Perteneciente a la parroquia San Lorenzo. Okay. Parroquia San Lorenzo, allá donde está la tortuga. Ah, sí. Parroquia San Lorenzo, Cantón Manta. Okay, sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. ¿Y toda la gente aquí son pescadores? pescadores. Pesca. ¿Eso es de hoy? Pescadores no. y artesanos, sí, de hoy día. ¿De hoy día? Sí, ah, de bueno. Por This is all today. Capotillo, polvina, filete. Ok, filete. Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Gracias. <laughs> wow, there's big fish over there. This is the little town here. Doesn't seem like there's much happening there. Alright guys, well we pulled into this little village in the middle of nowhere um, because we have run out of gas. <laughs> um, I haven't seen a gas station anywhere nearby. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a problem but I think we're going to carry on and uh, see how far we make it until we make it to the next town. Fuck, no one in this village has gas. I've literally asked everyone. And no one's selling either. ¿Y hasta dónde vas? Hasta la próxima pueblo para comprar más. Eh... Solo necesito un poquito sí, para ir a eso. Pero, ¿dónde te diriges? ¿A Manta? Sí, o... no, no, uh, ah. hasta Puerto López, esa bueno, dirección. Ya, en Cayo es la gasolinera. Sí. ¿Y si llegarás con una pumita? Sí, 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 sí. sí, sí. Puerto 
poquito de agua no pasa nada, ¿cierto? Ah, bueno. Ah, usted es una hero, super. <ríe> Todo pueblo no tenía. ¿Te si llegarás con una pumita de esa? Sí, 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 con esa sí. Bueno, está bien. Gracias, gracias. ¿Ahí? Sí, perfecto. Llega la otra. Ah, bueno. ¿Qué quieres por eso? Dos dólares. ¿Dos está bien? Un dólar, no. ¿Cierto? Un dólar, un dólar. Bueno, gracias, amigo. Da. Gracias. Uh, that guy was a lifesaver. But uh, I forgot to ask what type of gas it is. Hopefully it's the same one. Let's see. Ah, yeah, we got two bars. We're safe. Woohoo! All right, we made it to the town of Machalilla. Um, there is the beach. Let's go give it a quick squeeze. Oh shit! The road is gone. Okay. Uh, how do we get there? Maybe we can buy some water around here. Is this the way to the beach? Amigo, por la pla playa aquí. La playa. Por, por allí. Por allá. Bueno, gracias. Ah, okay. I see. Check it out, guys. This is the Playa Machalilla. Wow, look at all those boats. Fishing boats. Damn. I wonder if they're fishing right now or if they just parked it. Ah, I think they just parked. Wow, check this place out. It is eerie. It feels like it's abandoned. Let's see if we can uh, get some water or a coke here. Hola, hay alguien aquí. Ah, bueno. Hola, señora. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Dónde? ¿Aquí o allá? ¿Puedo tener una Coca-Cola? Hola, ¿tú puedes venir? Ah, aquí hay otra persona. Ok. Ok, A ver, pero ¿de cuál quiere usted? Coca-Cola normal. ¿O qué hay? Pues esta. ¿Hay Inca Cola? ¿Así de tamaño? Inca Cola no hay, ¿cierto? No, Inca no. La de ¿Qué es de aquí? ¿Qué es de aquí? ¿Qué tamaño? Es que no sé de qué tamaño. Cola gallita. Bueno, eso. ¿Cuánto quiere por eso? 25. ¿25? Bueno, muchas gracias. All right, we got ourselves a cola gallito, a chicken cola. Let's see, hopefully it doesn't taste like chicken. Let's give it a go. They also have Inca cola here, which is pretty funny. I thought it was only in Peru, but you get it here too. What's this guy selling? Yeah, that tastes like Inca Cola. Very similar to Inca Cola. If you guys don't know what Inca Cola tastes like, it's kind of a... Luisito Comunica described it best. A bubblegum flavor drink. It does not taste like any other drink um, that you get uh, in other countries. It is a special flavor that you can only find here 
in this side of the world. And this is a Ecuadorian version of Inca Cola. Chicken Cola. Or Cock Cola, depends how you want to word it. Bienvenidos Puerto Lopez. All right, guys, we have made it to Puerto Lopez. Ah, bueno, gracias. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Arroz, marina. Arroz mixto, ¿qué es eso? Arroz mixto con concha, camarón, pulpo, calamar. Ah, no hay como un arroz con pollo, solo pollo. No, es solo con marisco, es cierto. Sí, solo marisco. Solo marisco. Si sí, hay pollo, si sí hay pollo adentro. Si sí hay pollo. Que hay... Que hay algo con pollo. ¿Ah? ¿Hay algo con pollo? Sí. ¿Qué hay con pollo? Snacks. Ah, sandwich de pollo. Pero platos no hay con pollo, ¿cierto? Sí, se puede hacer un pollo a la plancha, con ensalada, patacón. ¿Sí? Sí. All right, guys, lunch has been served. So we got our tostones here. Again, it comes with everything here in Latin America. Rice, lentils, a salad, and our fried chicken. It, uh, it's pretty difficult when you're traveling along the coast and 90% uh, of the food is seafood and you don't eat seafood. I wish I could. I can't. Um, yeah, it's fried chicken. Let's give it a quick go. Um, it's pretty much what I'm limited to here. It's nothing, nothing fancy, nothing new. You guys know what chicken looks like, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go for you guys. And then we're gonna eat. We're gonna taste it and give it a go. It's fried chicken. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. That is very good. Tender. Todo. All right, we made it to Salinas, finally. Wow, it seems pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I think I like this place, it looks nice. Um, I'm gonna look for a hotel now. Once I get the hotel, I will film it real quick. Oh, I see some foreigners. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed because I am destroyed. I've been on the road for about nine hours now, like stopping and driving, so I am I'm tired as hell. Wow, check it out, this place is alive. Wow, I like it. I think I'm gonna stay here a few days. Wow, we were. Wow, we were. Okay. <clears throat> Let's find a hotel. All right, we got a hotel here next to the Malecon. The promenade um, of that little section that you guys saw. I was actually looking around for quite a while for a hotel um, but we eventually found one for $25. Um, yeah this is the price you pay to stay in a good area and this is one of the cheapest places if not the cheapest um, and it's still a bit of a a dump. I mean check out the bed it's got some funky stains going on the walls are all stained but you know we got a huge flat screen TV, so that's that's okay. Even though I don't watch TV, um, a nice uh, air conditioner from the 70s, and a weird uh, cabinet place. Uh, there's probably like a body in there or something. It's not open. Let's check out the bathroom here. Oh, what's this? Yes? You're looking for the for the voodoo high priest? Ah yes, you're speaking to him. Okay, we can make an appointment. Okay, bye. Sorry about that. Um Yeah, this is the bathroom. It's big, it's got a lot of space, but everything just feels outdated and a little bit uh a little bit dirty. But I just had a shower now, so I'm feeling much better after like nine hours of traveling. 
and uh, I think we are going to hit the sack in a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the end of this video, um, where we're going to carry on from, what we're going to do, but I'm going to say goodbye anyways for now, just in case I do decide to end the video here, maybe we're going to carry on filming, I don't know, I'm going to take a few days break, I'm destroyed man, um, I'm tired. I've been uh, traveling now for almost one year. I think I'm like one, one and a half months off from full time traveling. And uh, it's, it's tiring, but uh, yeah. Anyways, see you guys later. Ciao.